For a month and a half, we're gonna be drawing only baby animals, and we've got some real cuties for you. To kick it off, we're gonna be drawing this beautiful little wolf cub, so cute. And I'm gonna be putting all the videos into a playlist down in the description below. So let's get started. To draw your wolf cup, you're going to need some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a black pen. We're going to start off with a small circle just here towards the left-hand side of the page. Just do it very lightly in pencil. If you want to draw around a coin or something circular. Also, I've got a whole tutorial on how to draw a circle freehand, so just check out the link there if you want to find out how to do it. Anyway, in the meantime, just draw a really simple, doesn't have to be perfect circle, just something like that. Next, we're going to be drawing a slightly larger, just ever so slightly larger circle just underneath it and slightly to the right hand side. So I'm going to try and get this just slightly larger. There we go. I'm just drawing it lightly in pencil just so that we can rub it out afterwards. Next, I'm going to be drawing an oval shape. This is going to form the lower part of the body. And then it's going to cross this other circle here and here. So I'm just drawing two dots first, so I know where it's going to cross. And it's just going to overlap, just like this. Just a rough oval shape, just like so. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can see mine's far from perfect. Just something like this. Excellent. Now we're going to be drawing the front leg. So just here, I'm going to be drawing a straight line diagonally downwards. There we go. And coming out from here, I'm going to be drawing a horizontal line to the left. There we go, I'm gonna make this one a little bit longer. Now for the head. So this little wolf cub's going to be howling. So I'm gonna be drawing just the muzzle area. Just like that. We're going to perfect it later. Just like so. Now for the bottom part of the mouth. Just like that. I'm going to draw in the eye. And now for the ear. This is just going to be a shape like this. Now I'm going to join up this circle to that circle, just with a curved line. And then I'm going to follow on, this is going to be the back. And then the front part of the neck is going to come down like this. It's already starting to take shape, isn't it? Now I'm going to move to pen, but please carry on doing it in pencil. I'm just doing it in pencil so you can see it better on camera. Okay, now for the nose. So it's just going to be a line up like that. Another line here, one coming down like so, and then coming round. They're very much like dog noses, if you've done any of my dog tutorials. There we go. And then we're going to follow the mouth, just coming down and round, just down here, like that. And then we're going to draw the top part of the muzzle. It's gonna come in, little bump, and then in again. Did you know that wolf puppies are born blind and deaf and they need constant attention from their mother? They're very vulnerable little creatures at that age. So I'm using a series of dashes, as you can see here. This is to show that the fur is standing on end. So just a series of dashes like so. I'm now going to draw the ear. So just a line coming around like this, inwards. I'm going to draw the top part of the ear. It's furry, so I'm going to draw some furry lines. Just I'm going to do that by drawing these little dashes, as you can see here. That's how I make it look all furry. And then now for the inside part of the ear. So that comes in and round. And then there's another part coming down. Just like that. I'm going to colour in the centre part there, show that it's in darkness. And now I'm just going to do the edge of the ear. There we go, just like so. I'm also going to do the ear on the far side. So you can just see it poking out and it's going to be furry. So I'm just adding some little furry bits onto it, just like that, brilliant. Now for the eye, 
So, as I said, they're born blind. It's got the eyes closed. I think this one's old enough to actually see though. There we go. Now there's a slight little crease on their nose, just like this. So I'm going to carry on the fur on the back. I'm just going to use these strokes, just these dashes, to just to show that there's lots of fur standing on end because they're very, very furry. And when wolf cubs reach 11 to 15 days, they actually open their eyes and they also become more mobile and vocal. And they grow super quickly after that. So once they're three weeks old, they come out the den. And then by eight to 10 weeks, they abandon the den completely and go off hunting with their parents. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna finish off this mouth. So let's come back to the mouth area. I'm going to be drawing a line from the bottom part of that mouth part here. I'm going upwards and round. And here I'm going to draw one canine and then another canine tooth. There we go. A couple more teeth in between. And then I'm going to finish off the lower lip. Just like that. And then the chin. It's going to come straight down and then it's going to be more furry all the way down more fur coming down i'm just following these preparatory lines that we did before so i've done all the hard work this is kind of the easy part just adding all the detail on now i'm going to add some little dots for the whiskers so just going downwards i'm doing a series of dots you see that and then i'm just drawing a couple of lines just here coming down like so. Now I'm going to add a little bit more definition around the front leg area. So again, using these little dashes going downwards until I hit this oval shape. So there we are. So I go downwards a little bit, but now I'm going to be drawing the hind leg. So this is going to be a line coming round. going to come downwards just like so and then hit the ground where it's sitting down so here the little tail is going to be poking out so just some little dot dashes sorry some little dashes going in lots of directions like this and inwards now I'm going to add the front leg so on either side of this preparatory line that we did Add some fur going all the way down. And then some fur on this side. There we go. I'm going to pause just here. And there's both cubs sitting in the grass. So I'm just going to draw some grass. good to show the context where the wolf is actually sitting. Okay, now I'm going to be drawing the other leg that's poking out behind this grass area. It's just going behind there. And then the top part of it is going down like so. And then we just see some more fur from the other side of the belly there. Okay. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit more definition here. So a few more dashes, just following the top of this oval shape that we did before. And then a few just showing the shoulder area. And then just one or two just here. Right, I'm now going to raise all the pencil markings. And if you haven't gone over it already in pen, go over it in pen now. Okay, now we're gonna add some shading. So just a little bit of shading just behind the head area here. Just using these strokes like that. Just using vertical lines going all the way down. This area is in shadow. There we go. I'm also going to do these same strokes just behind the other ear. And on that ear. And also just around the mouth area. Just a little bit, not too much. Don't go overboard on this one. There we go. 
and also just behind this leg here. And just underneath this part here. And far part of the belly and this other leg that's kind of lying down. And then also on this part here. And here as well. And just a little bit more, just on this part of the belly. Here we go. Brilliant. Now for the underside of the tail, just here. And of course, we're going to have to add some shadow underneath the actual wolf cup. So I'm just drawing it in between all the, um, all the grass that we did before. Try not to do too much detail on this one because I think the simplicity looks really nice. But I'm just going to draw a couple of curved lines now, just coming down. There we go. Just making it a little bit darker We're using some cross hatching. And just here on the far side of the belly, I'm just using a bit of cross hatching there. If you watch a lot of my videos, you'll know that I'm a big fan of cross hatching. There we go. And then the finishing touches, we're just going to add a little bit more shadow just here on the nose area. I'm just going to colour in the nose just a little bit more, just leaving a little sheen. And then just a few little furry lines. And there we go, there's our finished wolf cub drawing. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then check out this next video here. You're gonna absolutely love it. And don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and I really hope to see you on the next one. Remember, I'm doing a whole series of baby animals, so stay tuned. Bye.